Hello and welcome to Linux Ends YouTube channel. This video is going to be the part one of explaining linked list data structure with the implementation in C programming language. For this part one, we are going to discuss what is a linked list, what are the different types of linked list, and how do various types of linked list work. And then we are going to compare linked list with arrays. So let's start off with what are linked list. By definition, a linked list is a linear data structure in which the elements are not stored at contiguous memory locations, rather they are stored with reference to the memory locations. The elements inside a linked list are linked using pointers. In simple words, a linked list consists of nodes where each node contains a data field and a reference field. This reference field is often called the link. Now this link contains the address for the next node. As you can see on your screen right now, we have the name of some employees over here. We have John, Mayor, McCallum and Trevor. If you want to arrange them in a certain order or if you want to place them inside a memory, we have two options. We can either use arrays or we can use linked list. Both of these options come with their own pros and cons. Linked list have their own pros and cons and so do the arrays. Anyways, there are three different types of linked list that are available in data structures. We have the single linked list, which is often called as the linear linked list. We have the doubly linked linked list. And then we have the circular linked list. If you talk about the single linked list, then single linked list consists of two parts. One is the data and the second one is the next link. So a node in a single linked list looks something like this. We have the data box and then the link box. If we were to have multiple nodes, for example, the name of employees, John, Mayor, McCallum and Trevor, we would place them in this particular order. So for the first node, we have John and for the link field, we have the pointer that points to the memory location that contains the next node, which is Mayor. Similarly, we can populate this linked list as such. In linear linked list, the link only contains the address of the next link. And then we have the doubly linked linked list. The doubly linked linked list has three parts, the data, the next link and the previous link. Similarly, if we take the same example of names of employees, we have the first node as data being John, the next link being the address of the next name of the employee. And for the previous link, our first node would not have any previous links because this is the head link. However, the second node would contain the link of the John value or the name John and the next link for the McCallum name or the employee McCallum. Similarly, we can populate this linked list as so. And finally, we have the circular linked list. The circular linked list can be traversed in a forward direction and backward direction as well with an additional feature that links the last node to the first node creating a full circle. So those were the types of linked list. Arrays store elements in contiguous memory locations resulting in easily calculable addresses for the elements stored and this allows faster access to an element at a specific index. However, linked lists are less rigid. This means that they are less rigid in their storage structure and elements are usually not stored in contiguous memory locations. Hence, they need to be stored within additional tags giving a reference to the next element. Now, this may seem like the overuse of memory but it has its own pros and cons. So the main benefit that a linked list has over normal trivial arrays is that the size of the arrays is fixed. Whereas with linked list, we get the option of dynamic sizes, meaning that if we want at some runtime change the size of our linked list, we can easily do that without consuming or moving memory spaces to allocate contiguous memory location, just like we would have to if we were using arrays. And the second major benefit of using linked list over arrays is that we get the ease of insertion and deletion because deleting a node from a contiguous memory location is comparatively harder because the operating system would have to assign that free space to some other variable or some other process that needs some memory. And in case we want to reinsert that value, the operating system would have to free up the contiguous memory location by moving the elements present in that location to some other location and then giving this contiguous or continuous memory location back to the array. Linked list help in performance, but they're slower when it comes to accessing a particular index. 
So linked list allow us to achieve higher speeds when it comes to insertion and deletion but they are slower when it comes to accessing a particular element at a particular index. So that was it for the theoretical explanation of linked list, types of linked list and arrays versus linked list.